In this video, we'll go over the initial setup of an on-prem appliance for the Catabilitability 3.0. Before you begin, you will need several pieces of information from your cloud provider. You will need the tunnel endpoint, you will need an account credentials, as well as the organization name. Once you have this information, that's all you need. So to begin, what we're going to do is we're going to start by logging into our, uh, our cloud portal and looking at the current state of the, org of the sites. As you can see here, we have our local cloud site, um, IAD, as well as an on-prem site, CBL, already established. So what we're going to do is we're going to establish a new relationship with a secondary site. So to do this, we're going to log into our vCenter, um, our local vCenter for our secondary site. And the first thing we'll do is we will deploy the view cloud availability appliance. We will give the appliance a name. We will accept the license agreement. In this particular case, the OVA for the, the appliance actually is a multi-purpose is a multi-purpose OVA. In this particular case, we are deploying an on-prem appliance, so we want to make sure that we select on-prem appliance. Select our storage, networking. And when setting up, when doing the customizations, it's important to note that the password is required, but it can be a very simple password. One of the first things you'll do is change this password. So I'm just making my password 1234. And we will deploy the appliance. Once the appliance has been deployed, the next thing we'll do is power it on. Once the VM is powered up, the next thing we'll do is we'll want to log into the user interface. and we'll use the password that we set during configuration. And as mentioned, um, you know, the passwords can be very easy during the configuration, but this will be where you want to put in your permanent password. Now, once you've set up your password, the next thing we want to do is we'll just want to run the initial setup wizard. So we already have a site named CVL, so we will call this one CVL dash two, so we can distinguish the difference. We'll point this to our lookup service on our local side. Accept your certificate. And this is where the information from your cloud provider comes in. So in this particular case, we'll want to point to the tunnel endpoint that was provided to us by our uh, cloud provider. So it will be import A48. We'll use our uh, login, which will be our username for the portal, at the org name and our password. And finally, we'll configure uh, our participation in CEIP. Now, for this option, um, we can do this now or we can do this later. I'm going to go ahead and choose and set up the local placement now. And what this is, is this determines when you fail back and forth where the, uh, where the virtual machines will be placed. So I'm going to go ahead and configure that now. So I'm going to enable the configure local placement now and click finish. Um, since this is a very small environment, we're going to 
our VM folder will be our, just our local uh, data center. We're going to use the existing compute resource. We're going to put everything on the vApp network. We will assign it to our data store and finish. And as you can see here, we now have a paired site with our cloud environment, which is IAD. We've configured all of our uh, local resources for placement. So the next thing we'll want to do is we'll want to uh, that configures the the that concludes the configuration actually of the replicator itself. So we're going to go ahead and close out of this window for now, and we're going to go back over to our vSphere. And the next thing we want to do is log out and log back in. And as you can see, if we drop down under menu, a new menu option will have popped up. Fleet Cloud Availability. If we go ahead and select this now, you can see that we now have a paired site between CVL2 and IAD um, with all the statistics in terms of how we're paired um, between us and the remote site. The other thing we'll take a quick look at is we can go back over here to the cloud portal on the on the cloud side and you can also see that we now have a secondary site. So that is all it takes to be able to pair an on-prem appliance with your cloud provider. Um, for additional videos and resources in terms of how to now start using it in terms of configuring replications, please check out um, the documentation or some additional videos. Thank you.